Hi, it's Jeff from Sunland Water Gardens, and I want to show you how to harvest some water chestnuts um, that uh, you might have in your pond. We carry water chestnuts here at Sunland Water Gardens. It's one of our edibles, so a lot of people will enjoy it. Uh, but I want to show you how to collect them, harvest them, and then you can uh, find some recipes and uh, enjoy them. So let's do it. Okay, so this is a water chestnut uh, that I've already cut down. Uh, they're generally, you know, they're two or three feet tall um, at least. And um, I've already cut it down. So what I'm going to do now is we want to take it out of the pot. So if it's a one or two gallon pot, just work the pot off of it. Sometimes the roots are pushing on it so it's harder to get off. But, you know, once you loosen the pot out, take it off. And this is what we got. This is the, the, the root system of the uh, water chestnut. And as you can see, it seems like anytime they're in a pot, the water chestnuts, they're towards the outer side of the plant, like almost against the pot, I find a lot of times. Sometimes they're in the middle, but for these, you can see here, they just pop right off. They're, they're connected by one little... Um, you know root or something but you just pop those right off and just start collecting them um, not too hard to do they generally just pop right off and see here and they're they're connected they're the root system of the plant so the plant is connected to the bulb and this bulb will c create a new plant if you want to plant it otherwise you can use it in a recipe but one plant you can see produces quite a few water chestnuts and we just go along and try to collect them all I usually collect everything on the outside first and then I'll open it up and see if there's anything on the inside What I use is like a little sickle, a little, little knife to cut cut down the middle. I wouldn't uh, go too deep. You don't want to cut through any of the water chestnuts, but nice and shallow and then use your fingers to kind of open it up. And you'll find, you know, a few more of them in the middle. You can cut off, take off a little bit of the dirt off the, top, the bottom. Um, and then what I'm going to do is also, you know, this, this main plant will grow again and for next year we can harvest all the water chestnuts again so and it's up to you if you want to just put this into a larger pot like a two a two gallon or make up multiple pots and that's what i'm going to do i'm going to make up multiple pots of them um, so a lot of people like to buy one gallon sizes So just right off of one one gallon pot, we've collected one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen just in this pot. My last pot that I did, uh, I collected twenty-one, the previous pot. And um so, you know, you start getting quite a few out of just, you know, two or three pots. You can have a lot of chestnuts. Now, to replant them, um, you know, get a nice pot, whatever size you want. Add some soil. I always use some type of aquatic fertilizer for it. Um, and then, obviously, pack some new soil around it. And generally they don't like to be too deep in the water. I always do my four finger rule. So water can be about four fingers over the pot. Um, you don't want to drown, drown it. So that's about the right depth for them. And then these will sprout back up. And next uh, season you can do it all over again. Collect them all. And it's a great way to uh, 
uh, have some edibles for your pond and and enjoy them. Hope that helps uh, kind of understand the water chestnuts a little bit and enjoy. All right guys, I'll see you when you come in. Bye-bye.